We got to get to Police State. This is your latest project. Tell the audience about it. Honestly, everything you do, I feel like so many people follow so closely because you are sort of on the cutting edge of telling us what we don't know, but what we should know. What What do we need to know about Police State? Well, I think the big picture of it is that um, the United States remarkably and rapidly in the last few years has been moving toward becoming a police state. Uh, and we see this simply by asking what a police state is. You just have to look around the world. You have all these unfree societies, these tyrannical societies, North Korea, China, Iran. Of course, in history, we have the old Soviet Union. And then you ask, what are the defining features of those societies? Well. Uh, mass surveillance of the citizens, systematic censorship, indoctrination in the schools, um, the attempt to create a one-party state in which you kind of eliminate all effective opposition. You try to jail the leader of the opposition party. You criminalize dissent. You have political prisoners. And I say to myself, wow, um, we all have all that now in the United States. So. I think all of this tells us that while we're not a full-fledged police state, in fact, in a full-fledged police state, I couldn't make this movie, we have a window of time to block and reverse and roll back the emerging police state, and that's really why I made the film. Wow. I mean, you're you're right about, I think, that our country frighteningly moving in that direction. Actually, a recent Rasmussen poll asked Americans if they thought the country was headed in that direction, becoming more of a police state. I was shocked to find out that 67% of Democrats, 76% of Republicans, and 72% of independents actually said that that was a big concern of theirs. So uh, obviously, this is not just something based on political party. We all feel like there has been some major and massive change within our society here in the United States. But Dinesh, how are we still heading down this path? If people are finally starting to recognize it, how is it that we haven't changed course so far? And, and how do we change course? What is the solution here? Well, the remarkable thing with the Democrats is that some of them recognize that something is wrong. We've, it's unprecedented in American society to try to launch a kind of battery of criminal accusations against the leader of the opposition party. We've never seen that kind of thing in our country's history. It's happening now. Similarly, censorship. I mean, one of the first phrases I heard to America when I came to America as a teenager was, you know, I disagree with you, but I will defend of the debt. You're right to say it. And I thought, wow, that's really the core meaning of free speech. You're allowed to say it. And even a political majority doesn't get the right to cancel out your right to free speech or your right to conscience. So all of this has now changed. And part of the reason it's changed is that the, the media has been putting out the relentless propaganda that we the Republicans, the conservatives, the patriots, the Christians, we are trying to impose a police state. That's why, for example, That's Donald Trump keeps, they keep saying he's an authoritarian. And I say, wait a minute, if he's such a tyrant, normally the tyrant is running the police agencies of the government. Right. Is it fair to say that Donald Trump is running the police agencies or is he running away from them? 